Well, it has certainly been a very busy month for weather here across Louisiana as well as across the southeast. And joining us now to talk more about the insane weather patterns we have been having is Barry Kime. Barry is the state climatologist housed on the LSU campus. And uh, Barry, there were 600 tornadoes during the month of April. That shattered every record across this country. What has to come together to spawn 600 tornadoes over 30 days? Well, we needed a series of very strong cold fronts, and exact, that's exactly what's played out over this past month. And in particular, uh, you know, we had this one major outbreak where we had 312 tornadoes produced in a 24-hour period, which obviously contributed to that 600. So it's just been an unbelievable month. The 600, just to put this in perspective, that's the most tornadoes we've had, not only in the month of April, but for any given month. And in fact, the previous record for April was 270, 267 tornadoes. And so we shattered that record, needless to say, for the month of April. And for any month, 542 tornadoes was the busiest month on record up until April of this year. So it's really been phenomenal. Um, I was in northwest Louisiana last week, and I guess I didn't realize farmers there have really been experiencing some dry conditions. As I understand it, those guys may be anywhere from 10 inches to a foot of rain behind normal. Those guys were burning up. Oh, we definitely have some serious problems across the state. And in fact, we're, we're right now, uh, we just finished up our fifth straight month of below average precipitation across the state of Louisiana. And again, I'll just give you a few statistics. Uh, right now, the U.S. Drought Monitor has 96% of Louisiana in drought, and two-thirds of the state are actually in what we call severe or exceptional drought. Now, this is mostly in the western and northwestern portions of the state, but it seems to be creeping eastward, and really the whole state has been affected. And since February 1st, We've recorded about nine inches of rain average across the state, whereby 15.4 should is considered normal. So we're running between 55 and 60 percent of normal rainfall, and that's just not enough. We're just we just expect to have more, and the economy is really built on us having you know, rainfall totals closer to normal. When you combine that with the flooding that's taking place along the Mississippi River, uh, right now uh, we could very well be in for a serious, serious spring. Oh, absolutely. In fact, right now, if you think about it. We're facing both flood and drought at the same time across the state when you factor in what's going on in the Mississippi River. So it's, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of an exciting time in the weather world, but uh, you know, a lot of bad things are going on, obviously. What, what is really driving the, the river levels right now? Was it just the tremendous amount of snow that took place across the Midwest and the East Coast uh, this past winter? What's driving all this, these river levels right now? That's, the snow is certainly a, a, a contributing factor. We had a very cold, snowy winter across the middle part of the country, and obviously that builds up all this water that eventually is going to be released. And it's normal for the Mississippi River to be high at this time of year. Not nearly as high as it is now, but normally it crests you know, in the month of May, so this is not uncommon. But then when you factor in over the last month across most of the middle part of the country, going say from Oklahoma through Missouri and then up the Ohio River Valley, many of these areas had between 10 and 20 inches of rainfall over the past month, and that's just way above normal, and that's what's really uh, producing this very large flood in our area. Even though we're in drought down here, we're just you know, basically receiving all this water from the middle part of the country. Well, Barry Kime, we uh, appreciate you being on the program, and uh, I know you're going to be busy over the next couple of weeks. That's always something in this state. Thanks very much, Barry Kime. My pleasure.